and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to In the Nest, the Emmaus Athletic Podcast. I'm your co-host, Shane Douglas, here with my trusted co-partner, um, Matthew Tomlinson, buddy. How you doing today? Shane. I'm doing good. How are you? Yeah, I'm well. We brought back our mascot again. Still don't have any names. I haven't heard anything. I didn't hear anything from anyone this people, week. So man, I'm people, man, people couldn't think of any names like. I'm this. very disappointed. I'm that very disappointed. Whoever, I'll, I'll say that, whoever comes up with the name that Matt and I like the most, will get a free coffee bean drink from us. So Kevin, I'm waiting for you to text me a name for him. So I'm waiting for you know more of the students to come <laughs> up to us and be like, oh, here's a name, here's a name. But maybe they just don't remember or <laughs> or no one listens. Maybe that's it. Yeah. <sighs> but um, darn it. <laughs> along with our trusted uh, Coco partner right here, we have another uh, Coco, thing to Co- kind of address, but without addressing. Yeah. A milestone. Yep. Just going to leave it there. Will, can you can see that, Will? All right. So just a milestone. Just wanted to really point it out. Pat ourselves on the... That we did we did well uh, yeah. last episode of not mentioning... Uh, 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 oh, <laughs> okay. That was a close it, one. I was really close. That was I, like, bad. Oh, man. Yeah, I were just really... Um, you know, karma. Somewhere karma Coach almost got me. just said the name, so... Karma almost yeah. got me, so... Tough. But moving on... It's, Every time I'm here, this is like the only time. I'm not even going to get into it. Okay. Because we, 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 anyway. I want I want that number to go up. All <laughs> right. All right. So very far. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, we're going to have a maybe a little shorter episode for you guys today. But um, a lot of good things um, happening, you know, uh, a little sad uh, with fall sports closing. But today we're going to recap yep. the end of fall sports with – the national championship from cross country, and then we'll get into some uh, basketball um, updates and highlights from the, this past week of the games they've played, six games, and then as well games. as well as uh, uh, upcoming game tonight against Maranatha. Ah, uh, yeah, and, and then, then Thanksgiving break. Exactly. So, ooh, we need to talk about Thanksgiving a little bit. Mm-hmm. So maybe we'll talk about some Thanksgiving, some other fun stuff, but then but also first, recap fall at the end. First, we got to talk about. Currently, it's the national championship tournament for both soccer and for volleyball. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to say that Pensacola is going to win for for soccer and Bob Jones is going to win for volleyball. Ooh. That's my picks. I think those are easy picks. I know. I mean, they're both are clear-cut number ones. Like, they're not going to lose. I like the Pensacola pick. They've been dominant the past couple of years, you know? Mm-hmm. Um and it's at home for Pensacola too, so it's true because they always host it, which is super nice because they have very nice facilities down there. This is my prediction, a little bit, just real quickly. I think um, surprisingly, I think Calvary is going to make a run. They're in it, yeah, yeah. They're. Mm-hmm. I think Calvary is going to make a, a run. Uh, my prediction, and I kind of hope that too. So it's a little, little to the heart. So I think Calvary is going to make the run, but it's going to eventually end up being Bob Jones, Maranatha, in the championship. You look at the uh, well, Maranatha didn't make it, but um. They lost to Grace. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the pool play, because they've... Not Maranatha, I meant Manhattan. Or Manhattan, yeah. There you go. The pool play for volleyball, like, both pool A and pool B is just crazy. There's so many good teams. It's true. (laughs) I'm I'm also... Same with soccer, but... I get Maranatha and Manhattan always mixed up. You know, when I'm trying to say Maranatha, I say Manhattan. Maranatha. So, I think Manhattan... Um, Bob Jones, I would normally pick Bob Jones, but because you pick Bob Jones, I'm going to pick uh, Manhattan. Because Jenny's going to win her like 15th national title. So, so like but either way, <laughs> it's going to be, um, there's some good competition out there for mm-hmm. volleyball. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like Pensacola, I feel like well, they'll run away with it again. So, um, maybe someone else can uh, take it away. Did Kansas Christian make it? They did. Okay. Maybe they can do it. They've, they won the central region yeah. or south region. They've been, they've been, they've been good for the past yeah. We had the national championship race last week. So we had four runners representing Emmaus, two for the guys and two for the girls. Mm -hmm. Um, And this year, so I think guys ran first and then girls ran second. true. So um, beautiful. Sounds like it was a great event over there at Grace. Grace really knows how to put on an event because, I mean, they're currently, not to distract, but their basketball team is currently ranked second in all of NAIA. So like, but they really know how to host an event. So guy runners, so... Christian and Caleb All NAIA, ran. NAIA, really? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Well, wow. Grace, well, they hosted D1 and D2 yeah. for us, so yeah. But, uh, That's insane. I know it is. So Caleb finished 27th in the nation for the guys. He ran 33 or 31.58. 
And then Christian finished uh, 45th for the guys, and he finished 33-49. So Caleb was close to PRing from his time last year. And then on the girls' side, um, Kate finished top 25 this year, mm. again, which which is awesome. Um, but it, you don't win, like, an award. Like, I think top 10 got first team All-American. But she finished 22nd. She ran 22.55. And then Anna finished 28th at 23.12. And so I think grace is hosting the next couple years so it'd be nice like are they it, really i think so because okay. it's like i th- I don't because I, I know like for basketball and so- or volleyball it's like a three-year rotation i think that's what it was for cross country because the last two years it was at ozark and then i think that's at least the next couple years it's gonna be at grace so it's okay. nice that they got that experience yeah f- be familiar because they with, didn't race there all, at all this season, no they didn't so. and they so. did ozark was it ozark at ozark last year mm-hmm yeah, they did. They raced at Ozark and then went back down there, but it was a different course. I know, you but at least they're familiar with like the terrain and everything. Mm-hmm. So because I know they they were studying the terrain pretty well, um, and it looked they seemed pretty confident mm-hmm. in what they could uh, uh, achieve there. And hopefully uh, next year, as they bring in some more talent that can push Iron Sharpens Iron, and I would love to see what this team can do next year mm-hmm. um, with you know how they kind of took the campus by storm last year and how they really kept that momentum into this year. Um, adding some more talented runners. So yes, and then before we d- go on, which reminded me, um, which I should have written the name of the award down, which I didn't. So shame on me. But to go along with nationals, the national race for or the national championship for soccer, huge, huge award that we got this year. Yeah, Josh Matt was named the 2023 Division Two Men's Soccer Kyle Rote Junior Award recipient which is basically it it's like it's basically like the NCCAA is like each sport has one it's different named after different legendary coaches um and it's basically given to um someone from each sport that, in, that represents the NCCAA and the king chasing and like sure, sure. they're they're talented but also they're an even better person yeah. they're a servant they support like they do so many good things so that's a that's the first time in school history that Someone from Mace has won the basically like the man of the year, the man of the year, essentially for in the NFL, which so. is really cool. And so shout out Josh, man. Yeah. It so was re- so it was, great. I was talking to Josh at lunch and what's really cool is that he mentioned that this summer he wrote down a couple of his uh, um, mile markers. He wants to hit some goals he wants to achieve in this soccer season. And um, within conference, he achieved most of them within like his personal awards. And then, uh, and then same with, re- same with regionals <laughs> and what's re- yeah with uh but but uh with uh, uh the awards and more personal he did write down this summer that he That's had a really goal cool. to win that award <laughs> You know, That's he, so he cool. said, uh, you know, he said that is an award that I would want to win, you know? Wow. Uh, not that he's like, oh, I'm a best person, you know, not saying that at all. But, but I mean, he but saying like, hey, this would be a really him. cool award to win. Um, I mean, and, he's such a servant's he heart. He's such a great guy. Like yeah. he's, oh, it's, I mean, it's, it's well-deserved. Like he should have won it and he did win it. And it's really cool at the end of the year. So when they have, I think it's in late May or June, they have the athletic director convention and then they will fly down the award winner from each sport in both d1 and d2 and then they'll Mm -hmm. have like someone will win like the person of the year between all sports so he'll have an opportunity to win like the servants of the year basically so that's a huge recognition to be the person it's really cool first in amaze history and actually um shout out coach McHugh. it's his (laughs) third person that he's coached that's won that award really yeah that's really cool actually (laughs) because he had two guys at moody that won it and then now one at amaze that's encouraging that's really cool yeah so but, huge but, accomplishment. So yeah, so uh, shout out to to Josh Matt. Hit him up on social media mm-hmm. if uh, you want to uh, congratulate him. Um, but also shout out to Cross Country for a great season that you guys yeah. literally ran. And um, looking forward to everything. Don't. <laughs> I guess I had that coming. You know, I was imagining the eagle soaring, but Will's no, over the eagle, here. He, the eagle Will's is running. Sleeping. He's sleeping. The eagle, the eagle is waddling. But, <laughs> there it is. But uh, yeah, so no <laughs> cross country, great season. Uh, thanks for showing up. We uh, we appreciated uh, mm-hmm. your heart, the family community that you have on the team. Um, very encouraging, and honestly, just very. Uh, uh, um, it, it really just. And they literally so were we, right we back at it in. yesterday before our game. They were already out working for next year, which is like that's insane. Yeah, I know, right? They're, I love the. They have mm-hmm. one of the most. Um, underrated or not underrated yeah yeah underrated like family 
communities mm -hmm. um, out of the sports teams. Yeah. You know, we always see what's going on with soccer and with volleyball, basketball, et cetera, um, and how, like, they got a brotherhood, sisterhood, hanging out, having Bible studies. Cross, cross country, country is like, does. I mean, they are. They're doing that, yeah. but it's like on a family level. Yeah. You know, it's they're legit, like, having meals uh, together. Not in the dining hall. No, in the like, cafe. Like, yeah. yeah. So it's really <laughs> cool really to neat. see that aspect and how that can um, pour into other areas on campus and other sports teams. So shout out cross country. Thank you for a great season. Thank you. Can't fall wait for next season. That we're all done, man. That's so it's crazy. How I fast. know. The semester just like by fall so sports, quickly. Fall sports is easily <laughs> my favorite sports season. The rest of them suck. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Everyone. <laughs> it got really quiet. I thought someone would say something. Goodness. It was so quiet. And <laughs> Trust me. We know, Shane. We know with that the is, amount of... Uh, <laughs> dude, don't even. You talk about volleyball all the time, man. Don't I talk even. about all the sports, not just one. No, yeah, it's volleyball. Not it's only one. volleyball. Because you talk about soccer. No, because you talk about volleyball. volleyball. Don't even. Gosh, I'm talking about cross country, <laughs> dude. Back off. I just talked about cross country. I'm talking about basketball. Let's get into basketball. <laughs> all right, let's talk about... Let's talk about... Oh, yeah, this... Um, let's recap it. We had six sports, games. basketball. Six games, baby. Yeah, dog. We, so had, we the had the return of Tashar. No, that was two weeks ago. I know. So we did have that. And then we had Mitchell returning to... And then the, the return of Mitchell. From. That's right. And then, yeah. So, last weekend, Friday, Saturday, we drove up to uh, Minnesota, where we were FLBC Mitchell's Free Lutheran home, Mitchell's home court Bible and School. And Hannah's, too, hosted a four-team, kind of like, not tournament, but medley, relay. I don't know what you what you call those. Not round robin, because you don't play everyone. But, like... Uh, get together i don't know we'll probably edit this out later but um <laughs> it was us faith yeah, they won't they providence won't. from canada and then flbc who hosted say and that so, again did you say canada canada so canadian the canadian team so we never played providence in, in, no i mean barely yeah, barely so it's fun when you guys can mm -hmm. are able to and they were on the re revenge game for uh, the guys because we had a game winning three against them last year but Do you think they remembered that oh 100 percent Really? It was funny. The guys were like, it's so weird hearing people trash talking in a Canadian accent and in a French accent. Do you think, like, really? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> so that's like, there's one guy that said, boom, in your face after he made a shot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we played um, Free Lutheran Bible School, which is a two-year school up in <laughs> Minnesota, which we have a academic agreement with where they go up, can go up there for one yeah. or two years, and then they can actually come and transfer to Emmaus and finish their degree here. Mm. And so we have two current students at Emmaus who are also both basketball players, and Hannah Boyer on the girls' team and Mitchell Marr on the guys' team. Who so have been good, great, uh, been massive great. impacts. So. Yes, both athletically and for the community. And so it's kind of fun they're able to go home and have, like, yeah, like you said, like their homecoming. And so um, girls had a good game. I mean, it, this is what I was going to say earlier. Like, I feel bad. Like, FLBC is obviously having a down year like um like when i played we always lost them because they were really good last year flbc girls beat our girls but this year our girls beat them 52 to 15 yeah yeah so it's just i mean yeah they're just they're having a a down year yeah. both guys and girls but they have a beautiful facility and but what, what's really cool though is about that that game it really highlighted uh, a lot of our our girls in the town that they have. Mm -hmm. So like and Aaron that, had a really good game mm -hmm. and shout out Aaron, man. She's, she's going to be, she's going to be really good. Yeah. She's <laughs> I, I've, I've only heard good things about Aaron mm -hmm. and what she's she was so able, fast. what she was able to produce on the court, mm -hmm. you know, and, during Anna the home played games. Well, and then, you know, Anna Harwood is just reliable as ever. I mean, she does her, she goes out there and does her thing with points and rebounds. Yeah. So, yeah. So they won 52, 15 on Friday against FLBC. And then on Saturday, they played Providence and Providence does a thing where they have, they have uh, basically three teams. They have five, five and four, and then someone from the other team subs in and every 30 seconds, they sub five in five yeah. out, five and five mm -hmm. out and they press and they shoot threes. And it was actually really cool. Cause um, again, knowing context, knowing where the girls were last year, I mean, they had a hard year last year. And when they played Providence last year, I think they lost by like, they may have lost by 40. They might have had like 50 turnovers. Mm -hmm. This year, though, they ended up losing by, I think it was like 27, but they only had like 15 turnovers. So just knowing from like the growth, the growth from last year to this year mm -hmm. was like, 
wow, that's really cool. Yes. And obviously province, like not take it. I mean, they're really good, but so it was just really cool to see that. They're playing it like hockey, not, right, not the are. physical standard maybe, but in the, just in and out the rotations. That's kind of, that's very unique. That's yeah. really cool to hear. Mm-hmm. You know, I yeah, wonder coach, if, if coach Joel does yeah. a good job there. So, um, and then they played Mount Mary, which is an all girls Catholic school mm-hmm. on Tuesday. And they ended up losing, um, 75 53 um but like i mean like we said like knowing from where they came from last year and how hard it was last season to this season like it's a pretty like it's a pretty big jump like they're making good strides i mean right now we have three girls that are averaging ten, over 10 points a game so hannah's averaging 12 and a half points a game and then anna and aaron are averaging 10 points a game yeah. a piece and so it's like you know there's a lot of good things i mean they didn't have a bro over the weekend because she wasn't able to travel with all the student life stuff that was going on with Joel. And so she wasn't available. Um, so they only had six, but then she was able to play um, on Tuesday, which is a big help. And so, yeah. So a bro is a player that uh, has been a great asset to the team in years. Mm. She uh, uh, received a blessing from the Lord of having a child. Well, she and, had a knee injury that knocked yeah. her out uh, two years ago mm-hmm. and then she got married and then, her and Joel had a child. Had a child and and Joel so. works on student life here. So, uh, Abril having a child as well as her husband being very involved in the community here and has been doing great oh, stuff. Shout out really, to Joel. Yes. Um, she's been, uh, you know, she obviously wasn't able to travel there, but she right. will be traveling tonight. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. And so then, uh, then she'll be leaving early so for Taste of Culture. Yep. And then Madam President, Madeline sorry. Wiest, who sorry. Um, is our student body president, she didn't play last year because she tore ACL. Mm-hmm. So she's back. And so it's good to have some, you know, you could say veteran leadership back. And then once that rust comes off, yeah, I'd be excited to see um, where they're at. And, and that's so. what we talked about last week of like when we play Trinity is the rust, yeah. you know, and that's why I like speaking of like April and how she was able to walk into the game, you know, just like she literally <laughs> just had a child like a year ago and, you know, still, still like she's there, still recovering there and attacking everything. the basket, doing spin moves. And exactly. The layups, it's it's like. so funny. Just like <laughs> one of the first uh, passes she caught and, took a shot three pointer made it it was just like so cool it's like never oh, missed a beat <laughs> i know <laughs> yeah so that was cool and yeah so then tonight um the girls are up at maranatha and they play at four and so keep an eye out for the box score tonight of mm-hmm. how that game goes so yeah so right now girls are sitting at one and four in the year so which is crazy because they got like, last year i mean it took 20 games last year before yeah. they got the first win yeah so like things are on the uprise so i love hearing like some of the basketball guys like in talking about the girls team like encouraging things of like how they're like very I mean, like, excited this year players have improved a lot from yeah. last year like that's been really cool to like, see like i mean you mentioned like aaron like aaron's name has been like flying around of someone to watch this year uh of a a freshman point guard who's like super fast and not even a true point guard but she's no, not, owning that role and she's mm-hmm. doing well like it was great like on saturday she had the ball and she had four province girls in front of her mm-hmm. she got a steal and she dribbled faster than they all four ran and had a, made a layup and it that's was like, nuts it's like whoa like <laughs> that's 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 a that's a head turner right yeah there. so she yeah and then hannah's doing hannah things and mm-hmm. then everyone else is you know falling into place you know yeah, but having leadership. three girls with that are averaging double digits like that's, that's pretty nice. that's really good at our mm-hmm. level so it's it's nice to see that so it's i feel like where the basketball team is this year is very similar to where the volleyball team was last year mm-hmm. you know and seeing if they can make that next step yeah, very like similar to what the volleyball team did this step year or yep. a couple pieces away from like yeah doing yeah so, so it's gonna be i'm really encouraged to see where this team goes and how they finish this year how they grow as a team because like they had one of the best like sisterhoods mm-hmm. you could argue last year with um i mean the t- how tough the season was but, they but just, how i mean they were like how, much, how they always the had a year. smile on their face yeah. you know so uh, which is hard to do when you're i mean they had a 20 game losing streak yeah but they kept doing the right things and made a big run in conference and won two games and finished in fifth place, which is that was really cool. <laughs> which is so cool. That was so. super cool. <laughs> but moving yeah. on to some moving guys. On to the guys. So um currently so we had three games obviously we two. So we played FOBC last Friday. Yeah. Um Mitchell's homecoming on his home court. It's funny the announcers were just everything. Mitchell this, Mitchell that, Mitchell this and it was pretty <laughs> cool. Like I mean he had a good game. He had twenty eight points. That was good. Which is really good. And we ended up winning seventy eight twenty three. So it just like I feel I feel bad because like for them because yeah they're just having a down year. They've always been a, a program that has been uh, circle that you know yeah. circle that date. Because yeah I mean I, we did beat them last year but like yeah I never beat them when when I played because that's insane. Yeah, I know isn't it? So like that's strange. They, so it's just interesting to you always have a see better how record teams, as a coach. Than I do as a player. how some teams like 
like how you say, like some team, how we talked about like for soccer and like some teams always have their moments and some will um, better. Um, some will have good years and some will bad years. And so they're just kind of in a down um, year. But mm -hmm. um, so that was a good game. Um, but then the next day we played Providence, which you said revenge game from last year because that's when Mitchell hit the game winning three on them. That was insane. And I, I mean, we game. started the game off pretty slow. Um, I think they went up like nine zero and then we just couldn't recover from the turnovers we had. I think we finished these last two games have been rough turnover wise, but we ended up losing 64, 84. We played, we played really bad. We didn't shoot yeah. the ball. Well, um, they are good. They are a good team. We just played really bad in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people know, like we did not, like we're not, we're not shooting the ball to our potential. Yeah. And that really showed, um, Dang. that, that day and not to, uh, not to have an excuse, but we played at 8 p.m. on Friday, and then we turned around and played at noon on Saturday. Mm, yeah, so it was it game. was a pretty quick turnaround. Yeah. But then you also could but, argue for but Providence. You could argue that Providence because they played Canada. at they played at four, and then they played at so. Who did they play before? They played Faith. Okay. Yeah. Was that there? Oh uh, yeah, it was at FMC. Okay. And so yeah, so it was. I mean, I think we saw what we needed to do, and uh, I think. We were able to improve on that. Yeah. On Tuesday, we played Moody. So first Midwest regional game. Yeah. For big game. Big men's game. Basketball and um, Moody. Not, ju not just it being a regional game, but it no, being Moody. Game. Yeah. I mean, Moody, Moody has I mean, always been uh, kind of the bigger brother to yeah. Emmaus in uh, the past years. For all you new Emmaus Eagle fans, uh, Moody has always, like I said, they've always been the bigger brother of you know, you know. Taking us, you know, by the mm -hmm. by the neck, just throwing us around, and, bullying us, and that's because from 1946 to 1983, Emmaus and Moody were in the same city. Yep. And so it was always viewed as the crosstown rival. But then when we left Oak Park, Chicago, and moved down to Dubuque, um, we still view, view Moody as a rival. But I don't know if <laughs> Moody views us as a rival. The the, but. the athletes definitely <laughs> are like, oh, it's Emmaus. Yeah. They're, okay, we'll we'll, Whatever, we'll take but it. But recently, tides have turned. They have. You know? They have. Um, but yeah, this was a very, ta I mean, this Moody team is talented. Like they are a lot better than they were last year. Mm -hmm. And they've been playing, I mean, they, we were the only, they had four games prior to ours and they played all NAI teams. Dang. So like, that's, that's tough. That is <sighs> tough. And so they played us and. They didn't um, win any, did they? No, they were 0-4. That's tough. Um, against very stiff competition. Oh yeah, NAI. But yeah. Um, Grace is number one in NAI. We'll talk about number that Number two. Number two. Grace that's College. insane. Yeah. That's insane. The Indiana one. Because they, uh, I can't remember if they missed the oh, national Indiana tournament last year. Yeah, the okay. Lancers. They're really, they have a really good program. Mm. But yeah, so Moody, they're really talented. Um, and man, our guys just toughed it out. They were super gritty. Um, I don't know how we won. I mean, I do know how we won, but we had, <laughs> we had 21 turnovers. Yeah. And we started the game <laughs> off with five turnovers in a row. Like, golly, we were so sloppy. But we won 89-82. Huge, huge win for us. With That puts us at 2-3 and three on the season. But, yeah, I mean, I'm like, it just shows, like, you know, as they say, shooting covers a multitude of basketball sins because we had 21 turnovers and somehow we won by 7. Yeah. Which is crazy. I think and you, you said it yourself. Basketball is a simple sport. It's a sport. You score more points than the other team. Yeah. And... <laughs> You don't give up the ball. Yeah, you don't give up the ball. It, yeah. That's like the perfect game plan <laughs> is you shoot the ball, you make the basket, you don't turn it you over. You don't turn it over. Yeah. Right? So, like, yeah, we've been, like I said, like we had 17 turnovers against Providence. We had 21 against Moody. But, hey, we're finding ways to win, yeah. and that's really important. And so, and it's important for this team so early in the season, yes, to kind of go, uh, uh, uh to have a matchup like this I, where oh, I totally they agree, could easily. Moody was so physical. Yeah. And, like, uh, honestly, like we talked about it, the guys know, like if this was our team last year and we got punched in the face, like we did against Moody to start the game, we would have folded and we wouldn't have, mm -hmm. we would not have finished the game well, yeah. but they showed took, a lot that, of, showed a they lot of took grit. that punch and turned it around and punched yeah. right back. Showed a lot of grit and for this yeah, team. And it was, I was so proud of them. And so like, just to know, like, okay, we beat a good team and had this many mistakes. Now imagine if we cut those mistakes in half. Yeah. And make your I free mean, throws and make your free throws. Like that could be, you know, that could almost be a 20 point win. Mm -hmm. And the fact we almost, we scored 89 points was awesome. So like, 
yeah, a lot of great things happening. I'm excited for tonight. We mm -hmm. play Maranatha at 6 p.m. That's going to be a good game. Which is another regional win, Ooh. which is with our rivals. So it should be it should be a lot of fun. I feel like Maranatha is like, if Moody is her older brother, Maranatha is like. Stepbrother? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's that's good. I mean. That's a fair comparison, I think. We'll have to see if uh, their yeah. announcer mentions that on the pod, on their uh, live stream. Step, he, like, do, you, do you even think they watch this? I don't know. Who knows? I like the stepbrother <laughs> thing. That's step a funny one. I mean, one. it could be. Because, <laughs> I mean, yes, you know, love, Us hate. Us and Faith know? are brothers. Us and Mary Nath are stepbrothers. Yeah. yeah. And I think Faith would agree to that. Because yeah, Faith, Faith. Definitely. Yeah. They have that one thing where every time <laughs> Mary Nath, they beat Mary Nath. That's really cool. I know. It's so funny. They yeah. beat Mary Nath, they get a uh, casual day. That's dope. That's, that's awesome. We need to be doing that. So, yeah. So, two and three going into this game tonight, which is, hope, which is, should be, a, should be a good game. Um, And then, could give us momentum going to Christmas or Thanksgiving break, excuse me. And then kind of looking at right now, I mean, like, you know, I, I think this speaks volumes to uh, our team loud. right now. Like um, currently Mitch is averaging 17 points a game. And then Nash and Zach, who both didn't play last year, but are back on the team. They played two years ago, didn't play yeah. last year, but are mm -hmm. back this year. Nash is averaging 14 a game and Zach's mm -hmm. averaging 10 a game. Yeah. So it's, it's been cool. To, and then I think Quan's at nine. So it's been cool to see like that success and them, you know, impacting right away. Yeah. And I, I still think there's, we talk about rust. I still think oh, yeah. the guys got the rust on them, you know, and then they'll go, be going into Thanksgiving break and, you know, fill up on some Turkey. And I know it's whatever. so hard because like we all, I coach Parker and I always say like, I mean, we always say like, you know, it's really like two seasons. It's first semester because you have, you don't do anything till like yeah. October. And then you have October, November, Thanksgiving break, a few games in December, and then Christmas break for three weeks. And, and then you, it's back in like the heart of conference play yeah. in January. And it's and like, you can see how like, <laughs> how radical the change can be from the team first season to second. To oh yeah. This, uh, or first uh, semester, semester to second, second semester. semester. Oh yeah. Because like, look at the national, uh, the, the national uh, or the regional championship team. You know, you guys yeah. like, just first semester was tough. Yeah. Second semester changed. It was great. Yeah. We, you know, and you that got year they figured the things end. out at the very end. So yeah, it really comes down to like, you have to be, you have to be playing your best basketball in March and mm -hmm. the end of February. And so, but, I mean, I'm looking forward to the game tonight mm -hmm. against Maranatha and uh, men's and Woo -hoo. women. Yeah. Uh, still got the rust on them, you know, um, but looking at the men's team moving forward, it's going to be, um, I, they're just happy. There's more smiles on the team this year. And, uh, you really can't talk about why, but uh, and like because I don't know what the reasons would be, but like they're just they're happy, yeah, they're just happier. It's, you guys seem I'm like more of a team, here. and I love yeah. that. It's yeah, I'm, it's been really good, so I'm excited. So everyone's everyone's happy with each other. Everyone's you know, there's a lot more of a sense of a brotherhood and trust mm -hmm. with one another on the Which team. Which is a big thing, huge so, thing. And I think that's gonna uh, show in their maturity as well as on the field and off the court, or on the court and off the court. Yeah, on and off the court in the locker room. There in you the go. Mezzanine. Boom. On the bench. So, so uh, to make sure to tune yeah. into tonight's game against Maranatha, the men's team, Let's and go. the women's Eagles team face the Sabercats. Let's go, it's gonna Eagles. going to be awesome to play our stepbrother in that competition. <laughs> um, <laughs> moving forward, let's. Uh, we're going to end it, you know, uh, in this podcast. Um, we talked about everything good, mm -hmm. so we're done. Uh, just joking. We're going to talk about something... Freeze. Oh, that little dude! Don't I was so confused. Like, wait a second. <laughs> don't I'm, I'm done with you, man. Oh my gosh! All that right, was, whatever, Shane. That was cringy. Ah, oh, thumbs up. <laughs> That's funny. Good job. Uh, no, we're let's talk about real quick. Um, our favorite fall sports moment, Matt. So I didn't really have to, any time to really think about this. So, but, I want, so you're so going first. You for, oh, I'm going first? Okay. Yeah, what's your favorite what fall moment? What was my favorite fall moment yes, sir. in Emmaus Athletics for the fall season? Yes, sir. You can say multiple. Okay. Well, first off, first of all, first off, it would have been the first soccer game of the year. That's all you talk about. Beating Mood, <laughs> beating Maranatha for That's, the first time yeah. in school history, 5-1. Yeah. Like, that was, like, I mean, that was just, I mean... Seriously, that was so cool. That was that, that was, was awesome. That was that was really cool. And then I think my other favorite moment would have been, I mean, just the growth between volleyball this year and last year, mm -hmm. and just um, you know the national recognition they got, the regional recognition, the conference rec recognition, like you know having 
two players, first team all region. I mean, Coach Hannah winning, you know, regional coach of the year. So I think I would say uh, yeah. the first soccer game beating Maranatha for the first time in school history, 5 1. And just, which is, I mean, and <laughs> yeah, the second one would be, which is a cop out, you could say. But it's, I think, the, seeing the growth between mm -hmm. the improvements from this year to last year in volleyball. I would say, uh, just, you know, I would totally agree with the soccer one. Uh, not the first one on my head, surprisingly, uh, or in my head, but thinking about, like, I think it was the first two soccer games of the season um, against, I think it was against, not Spurgeon. Crown. The Spurgeon one was it pretty intense. It was Maranatha, intense. Crown. Spurgeon at Faith and Crown. Yeah, home. Crown was intense. Um, the first was month. That Nationals, by the way. Yeah. Hey, so, yeah. I honestly want Crown to win. Yeah. I want Crown to win. They were they were cool, but no, I think the Maranatha game, hunt, like hands down, probably one of my favorite moments. Uh, you know, making that bold prediction and then it, you know, not me, like I didn't do anything, but then uh, seeing yeah, it you, come through. You did, you did make that prediction. And it well, it's yeah. sad because like we beat them, we tied them, we, we lost, lost to them. I know it's like we ah. degree, we de uh, descended, you know. So, uh, but we didn't still, have Christian either the second game or pretty much the first game. So anyway. But no, having that victory was awesome. The fans were there, and mm -hmm. it was just so electric. It was awesome. Uh, I will also say, almost all the home volleyball games. But I, I would agree, especially the alumni weekend. They game. were like, so fun. Oh, Holy, they were they were <laughs> awesome. And like I love the there were some crazy rallies, uh -huh. you know, that we've shown on the podcast, you know, of uh, Jenica making the dive saves and, and Sailor just, like, just standing there, just six, boom, like just, six back and uh, forth, like. 10 15 back like but it's I, crazy i think <laughs> this there's no comparison between the two and it doesn't have to deal with the name of the school but one of my favorite memories or uh, moments of this season is during the alumni game when we lost in five sets to maranatha or not yeah the oh, alumni yeah. weekend lost to maranatha in five sets uh from a sweaty floor and momentum not being there and then literally like a week later we go to their place four days later and we just <laughs> win three zero win three zero just uh that was really cool. That was really cool. It doesn't have to do with Maranatha. It could have been any team, but just the fact that but we turned around so from, fast. Yeah, losing in five to winning in was three. awesome. That's a the yeah. first one. But another favorite moment is talking to um, uh, uh, talking to Caleb Caleb Ness, and after Christian qualified for nationals, and how Caleb he was in, he was like proud of Christian, but he was also like shoot man. I can't let this freshman beat me. <laughs> and then literally like the next race qualifies for national. So that's another uh, favorite moment that I got to from this fall season. But uh, yeah, it, fall season re was really fun. I really it enjoyed was. it. It honestly brought back a lot of memories. It brought back a lot of excitement mm -hmm. of what that's the fall we, sports that's what we said all used fall, to bring. The excitement is back. The vibe mm -hmm. is back. Like, yeah, good, great things are happening. Yeah. So it was really fun to have those sports around and mm -hmm. competing. Yeah, yeah. Competing. At a high level, too. They haven't competed like this for a while, and it's really awesome to, to have that. So uh, thank you for all the small, fall sports athletes as well as the coaches. We know the hard work that you guys put into this season. Uh, so shout-out to Girardi. Shout-out to uh, Coach Megan, Coach Hannah. Shout-out to – Coach Parker. Coach Park. Coach McHugh. Are we Coach counting Flores, Coach Flores. Coach Rasmussen. I was just going fall sports coaches, but, I mean – She is a fall sports coach. Oh, yeah, yeah, for volleyball. I was thinking Phil. <laughs> Goodness. Um. Anyway, no, he's fault. He's winter sport. I know. I was so confused, dude. Either way, <laughs> yeah. Know. So shout out to all you guys, the managers, the the players, mm -hmm. everyone who put in hard work for the season, the fans, the parents, the grandparents, the friends coming up supporting us, watching this podcast, watching live stream. You know, um, even all the way from Canada, you had the mats watching, and sorry, mm -hmm. like that was when the live stream broke out, but. Um, they were able to watch the next game. So Fortunately. It was, uh, really <laughs> cool. So shout out to everyone. And we just are very thankful for this season and uh, for you guys being involved and uh, being a part of it with us. Um, before we go, Matt, what meal are you looking forward to or what side are you looking forward to for Thanksgiving? Are you even Same having Thanksgiving? Same thing as I said last year, which you told me that I was dumb. Stuffing. I didn't say you were dumb. And, yeah, you said, what's my favorite dish last year? I said stuffing. You said, stuffing no, is it's not. You ding dong. I didn't say ding dong. <laughs> I don't say ding dong. We got Okay, Stuffing. this is like the commercial with like uh, a <laughs> red flag. I um, didn't say ding dong. I'll say that. Um, but stuffing's a basic stuffing, one. That's like pumpkin spice. When you have food allergies like I do. Oh, I'm so sorry. I know you should be. I'm sorry. Work in the kitchen too. I'm sorry. I'm just it's stuffing. I'm Let's excited. Lay hands I, on you. And uh, we do tur We do ham instead of turkey. I can't do that. <laughs> I, I don't care if you hate turkey or not. We're having turkey. So stuffing you know? and ham. 
I like stuffing. Stuffing's mm-hmm. a good one. Um, I don't know. Shane, what about you? I, I really like stuffing. I'm a ghost. <laughs> nice. Okay. Here has this. Pumpkin pie or pecan pie? Oh, pumpkin. Sorry. Pecan pie. I'll go pumpkin. Pumpkin, okay. Because uh, my fiance's family makes a great pumpkin pie. So homemade, everything. So Yum. So pumpkin all the way. What about you? Pecan. Can you even have pecan. pie? No. Do you want whipped cream on it? No. Why not? Because. Okay. Yeah. Dairy. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, thank you for listening. Um, Happy Thanksgiving. Yes. So very thankful. That's hey, that mm-hmm. goes very. We're very thankful for you guys we for the, in the fall sports teams and everyone. Um, and it just goes right into Thanksgiving. So we won't be back here next week. So enjoy the 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 break. But make sure to tune in two, in two weeks, weeks from now. Yeah, for yeah. When we, we talk about how uh, how bad we beat Mar- Mar- Maranatha tonight. So. Uh, bum, bum, <laughs> bum, 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 Thank you everyone bum, for bum. listening. Tune in next time. Follow us on social media if you're um, interested in coming to MA Supply or uh, find the Recruit Me application. So thank you everyone, Matt. It's a ha- great day to become an Eagle. Yes, sir. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Shane.